Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and we are back for part three of Pinstripe. Now, if you have missed the story of the previous two episodes, I would advise that you go and catch up because there is a lot to cover. In episode three, we are going to continue our journey and hopefully finish up this game today. So sit back, relax, and let's continue our journey to save our daughter Bo from the demonic hands of Pinstripe in this demon world. Ooh, what's that thing? It's like a demonic cat. Welcome to Red Marsh. Pinstripe's resort of ultimate pleasures. Wow, and he's really creepy. Please sign the best registry. Mr. Pinstripe welcomes you to the adoption ceremony of Little Bo. We, we need to stop that, don't we? Please sign the guest registry. Guests will receive complimentary sack juice during the ceremony reception. Ugh, that's kind of nasty. Uh, wow, this is a weird signature. Yeah, I should have done that a bit nicer, I think. Never mind. That's not my normal signature, guys, don't worry. Ceremony will be held when the moon is full. What ceremony? It's not every day Pinstripe finds a fresh and plump child. That's so weird. So Mr. Pinstripe is requested that all residents witness the eternal adoption of shadows. Okay! You just chill there then, you weird like robot demon. I'm gonna save the game first of all. A portrait of some guy that looks like Jesus but is not Jesus. Look, his name is just Nathan. And he's called Nathan Kingston. So we'll save our game here. And now we'll proceed onward, I guess. This guy looks pretty uh, pretty drunk, doesn't he? Just sat at the table there. Maybe you go and have a little chat to him. He looks a bit like the guy we, earlier that kind of fell out the tree. Hello again. This pinstripe guy's got class. Such modified class. If you say so, man. Okay. You just chill there. I might shoot this lantern over your head. There you go. Let's head on up. I wonder if we need to keep collecting these like frozen drops still, like if we'll need them again at the end of the game. A notice. Redwash residents attending the adoption of Bo shall receive a free delivery of pinstripe sacks. All residents not attending shall be verbally abused and vigorously whipped into submission. Thank you and good day. That's terrible. That's kind of funny though. I don't know why everyone wants pinstripe sacks. It's kind of like, it's pretty gross, isn't it? It's like, what's the obsession with his sacks? We got some balloons here. Can we pop the balloons? Yep. Party pooper right there. I like how each area in this game has like a really different look and feel to the last. That's kind of one of the best parts of it, really. I also like the humor. I think the humor in this game is like really quirky and strange. Oh, it's got blown up by a mine there. Oh, and here he is. There's our daughter, Bo, sort of traps. You're just in time for the ceremony, Ted. Let Bo go. Oh, don't be such a pissy wissy. Quite frankly, Bo will be much happier with me. I somehow doubt that. So, will you stay for the ceremony? The clock is ticking, Ted. You stupid little bum piss. You're gonna pay, pig. <laughs> Try. But if you can't remember the blessed day you died, I'm afraid Bo will be forever mine. Okay, so we have died then by the sound of it. Okay. That is no longer up for debate. The door is locked with some kind of mechanism. See if we can bust through this door. Oh, it's another one of these things from last episode. I hate these. These are like the bane of my life. Come on. There we go, finally. He's got some good security on the front of his house, that's for sure. It's gonna blow up all these balloons. This song is creepy. Yep. Sure is. 
Look, there's a sort of portrait in the background. Is this meant to be us and Bo and our wife or something in the portrait? Or maybe that looks more like Pinstripe himself in that picture. Maybe, maybe like we are Pinstripe. I don't know. Maybe it's one and the same. Enter death year. How are we meant to know the death year? Okay, so I don't really know what we're meant to do here, guys. It says remember your death year. Ah, we've got some more area to explore here. That makes sense. Okay, let's go and explore and find some clues. Hello, this week. All right, calm down. Don't judge me. I've been good, I swear. I was just thirsty. Nothing like a good swig of pinstripes sack juice. Makes me feel real special. He said more's to come to celebrate Bo's adoption. When's the adoption? What's it to you, punk? You don't even know how to stop a car. Ooh. Hmm, interesting, okay. Right. Let's break that down and go in here. What's this all about? Giant safe? Don't even think about it, fool. Happy. Let me examine this safe. That's one of these again. Hmm, it's locked tight. We can't get into that at the moment, guys. Don't know what we do to actually access the safe. So we'll just head on back this way. Oh. That's close. I see, so we get on this and we shoot that thing at the top. That's how we boost up. There we go. Got another safe here by the look of it. I don't know if we can access this one. Giant safe? Don't even think about it, fool. Happy. Okay, let's examine it. Again, it's locked. I'm guessing the safes maybe contain the clues we need to get to the end of the game. Let's go and see if Happy's in here. Maybe he can sell us the combination. Happy's newsstand. Scribble no. Trying to sleep. Awake at 8:10 p.m. Hmm. Wake at 8:10 p.m. Okay. So we have to wait, I guess, until that's opened maybe. Ooh, look at this. We've got a little house up here. Ah, and here's a giant clock. We need to change this clock to 8:10, I reckon. <laughs> you hear that? Father, what? That's just this mega clock. I was distracted that that nobody touched that mega clock. I'll do more than touch it. <laughs> Under no circumstances shall nobody be permitted to mess with the damn clock. You don't get it, do you, pal? I do get it. I'm messing with it. Hmm. It looks like we need like two hands, which are a spoon and a fork for some reason, to put on this clock. Okay, so he probably, I'm guessing, has access to those things. If we can find the two hands to put on the clock, then we can turn it and put it to 810. So we're gonna have to come back here soon when we have those items. For now, I'm gonna head on back. Let's try going inside this pub and seeing if anyone's in here, because I don't think we've done that yet. Oh, there's Dicky. Hey, Ted, it's me. Oh, and I can see the fork at the top of the screen as well, guys. That's what we need. Mr. Dicky, gotta be careful down here. Pinstripe would kill me if he found me. Especially if he catches us helping you find Bo, so. I'm disguised. Good disguise. The nose does wonders for you. I'm a clown, Ted. See the nose? Where's Miss Birdie? She's hiding in Pinstripe's well. She said she's got a surprise for you. Oh, maybe the spoon that we need. Either way, if we can go up to get that fork somehow. Maybe speak to this guy here. You gonna go party after the ceremony, father? Here, drink some of Pinstripe's 
sack juice for for prep. Okay. Oh, mm, probably not a good idea. This good, yeah. But not as good as the real deal. <laughs> Pinstripes giving out fresh sacks filled with this stuff during the ceremony. You're gonna take a bite from the forbidden fruit with us, right, Father? Uh, sure. I love parties. I'll humor him. Um, are you serious? Are you really gonna party with everyone on a night like this? Of course not. Just humoring him, aren't I? Sort of giving him some kind words of encouragement, even though I probably shouldn't, because they're all drunk. And I think this is the sort of hidden subtext of this game, isn't it? That, like, everyone is, like, washed up and drunk because they, like, maybe represent us. Because, like, look at this picture here, for example, guys. You can see it looks like we're battling, you know, with Pinstripe, maybe battling with our, like, inner demons or something. Like I said, I will make a video on the story of this game after we finish it. Get off the table, punk. All right, calm down. I'm in the middle of a game. I'm so sorry. Not really, though. All right, let's just try and uh, find a way upstairs. We've got some balls on this table. Can we knock them? Can we do anything with them? Oh, we can. Okay. Maybe put them in the basket at the top. It's a bit obscure, but yes, it's working. We just need to slap these balls up until they land in the basket and come down low enough to climb up and then we can go and get that fork. Come on, slap them up. There you go. Oh, that's fine. We made it. A fork. Alright, let's take the fork. It's cut sprayed with lotion? Ugh. So we've got the fork now, guys. We just need to figure out how to get the spoon. So Mr. Dickie said that his wife was going to be in the well, you know, readying something to give to us. Like, she's got something that we need. So we need to find both the well and Mr. Dickie's wife. And she should have the spoon that we're looking for to obviously use on that clock. <gasps> Here's a well. Okay. We just had to run back the other way. So, we bust through these, break the boards, and go into the well. Let's break through all of these boxes. And here she is! <laughs> kind of weird, but never mind. Well hidden. Teddy bear, it's me again. Quick, take this genuine spoon. Gee, thanks. It's got a shine and smell I quite enjoy. And pleasurable to the touch, no doubt. What a stupid thing to say. You'll need it to defeat Pinstripe and rescue poor little Bo. But don't tell anyone I'm here. Okay. I don't want Pinstripe to lock me in that cage again. Look, we've got another puzzle here. So we've got to spot the differences. Well, that's one for a start. Oh, that's two. So there's 11 differences left. Uh, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh. What else is different, guys? All oh, the scratch. That's not me of a picture. Oh, the dog. There's only three things we're missing now. What could those be? Ah, the bedpost. Oh, there we go. We've got a scratch on the bed there. So that is done. So we can shoot that pot and get all the loose change out of it. And then we can head back up now. So, guys, we've got the two clock handles for the giant clock. We can now make it 810 so that Dickie returns to his shop. Right, here we go. We're back at the house with the clock. Let's fit the hands on there. And there we go. And now we need to rotate it to make it 8. Uh, so that's that'll be 8, 10. Okay. 8, 10. That's right. There we go. 8, 10 p.m. 
just as Dicky wanted. Now, I don't know what that's going to have done, but we can go and check it out and see, I guess. Head into the mines. It certainly seems to have made everything change colour. Hello, father. Hello, Happy. So, about those frozen drops you gave me up at Pisswald. Yes. Well, apparently that just wasn't enough to put me to sleep like I thought. Ah, okay. So listen, I can help you get Bo from Pinstripe. <laughs> but oh, I need you to do me a favour. Right. If you get me tin sacks, not the frozen drops this time, but the fresh sacks, the real deal, I'll sell you a newspaper, but not just any newspaper. Ooh. It's got the password to Pinstripe's parsonage on it. <laughs> so, what do you say? Those sacks are the only thing that'll get me to sleep tonight. Sure, okay. Pinstripe will be delivering those sacks at a specific time, Father. So here's a little clue to when that is. Okay. Once you find the sacks, bring them back here so I can suck them dry. <laughs> So gross. Right, so we've got a slip of paper, but we need to find two more by the look of it, because we can't really see too much from uh, from this scrap, or maybe on the back. There's a number on there. I'm guessing that's the time for the clock. I can't really see. It's really hard to rotate this thing, but it looks like we need to find two more pieces to that scrap of paper. I think what I'm going to do is go and check on those safes again because now that Happy is back in his shop he may allow us access to these safes and I think the two safes as I said earlier in the video probably hold the secret uh, scraps that we actually need here. Yes we can use his safes now, okay good. Right, a little bit of finesse is needed now as we navigate another one of these frustrating Flappy Bird-esque ah, things, there we go. Yes, ooh, we actually got that one. First time. One and done. Well, I think it was the second time, but... Ooh, and we got another slip of paper. Ah, here we go. Collect frozen drops, eat frozen drops, sleep, 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 sleep. Okay, but what's on the back? Sacks delivered. Ooh, at 2.30 something. We need to get, we need to check the other safe, guys, and then we'll get the final slip of notes. Once we've got that, we'll be able to work out exactly when to turn the clock to and when to sort of uh, grab the sacks at. Such a weird sentence. A giant safe? Don't even th so let's try this next one. Here we go. Oh, this is going to be tricky. Man, this is hard. But not that hard that we couldn't do it. Obviously. So here we go. We've got the final note piece now. Let's turn it over. 2.30 a.m. Hide this note until now on. Okay. So we need to go back to the clock and change it to 2.30. So here we go. 2.30. There we go. Small hand on the 2. Large hand on the 30. And here we are. Let's see what awaits us on the other side of this clock. The ceremony, 2.30, ooh. And everything has changed for the worse. Look at this weather, guys. It's like we've got a horrible sort of storm kicking up now. We've got fire raging everywhere. An ominous clock striking. Oh, this guy's got his head stuck. That sounds horrible. So all these people are being feasted on. We've got to try and save Bo quick. Wow, that is creepy. It looks like we might be too late here, guys. He's already holding what looks like to be a transformed version of Bo. Oh, you just missed the ceremony, Ted. Look how sweet her little face is. Yeah, she's totally changed, isn't she? She looks just like Pinstripe now. Do you have something to say, sweetheart? Go home, Ted. No! Daddy Hopefully we're not too late, right? We can turn back time or something. He'll keep me safe. And he loves me. Dearly. Bo, it's me! It's over, Ted! Too bad there's no way to turn back time! 
Well, that's where you're wrong. You see, we have this clock that does exactly that. But first we need to collect these sacks. There we go, that's two sacks down. I don't know if we're gonna have to backtrack everywhere, like throughout the whole world to get the rest of these sacks. We've got three so far. There's another. Nice, okay, let's keep going. Let's get this one here. I'm gonna check down here as well, see if there's any here. Ah, here we go, yep, there's one right here. That gives us six sacks. We might need 10, I think, actually, on second thought, so probably best to just keep looking. But there's only four more, though, so I don't think we need to travel back to the other, like, part of the land to search. I think they'll probably all be around here. Let's go in here, into the pub. Yeah, there's one. Nice. That's what we want. There's another. That'll give us eight. Just two more to find. Let's head back through here. There's another. Beautiful. Oh, we need one more. Where could the last one be? Oh, I've just had an idea of where it could be. Pinstripe's house. We haven't checked in there yet. Let's check there. Yes, there it is. Delightful. Okay, we've now got 10 sacks. Let's head on back to our good old friend Happy and get that newspaper from him. Hello, Father. You gonna buy a newspaper for ten sacks? Yep, here we go. I'll show you the clue to get out. It's getting late. I expect I'll be closing shop and eating a sack, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Sleeping nice and cosy in my shop through this storm. This madness. What did you do, father? Anyways, the password should be in that newspaper. Oh, <laughs> good night, father. Okay, so our death date should be in this newspaper somewhere. Just look at the headline, maybe. It kind of looks torn, though. We can't really see. It says Saturday, October 13th, I think, but I can't really see much more there. Oh, yeah, look. Saturday, October 13th, 1922. It says, fire, fire. A minister's body was found at Redwash Parsonage, along with a three-year-old's charred remains in the passenger seat. Authorities have not yet released information into the cause of the wreck. Wow, so it looks like Ted and his daughter got incinerated in a car accident? Basically, it looks like he crashed the car and killed his daughter, probably drink driving, I'm guessing. Devastating car wreck at the Redwash Parsonage takes the life of minister and daughter. Yeah, look. Damn, okay. So we need to date 1922, so I guess he's sort of atoning for his sins now. In, a, in his sort of his own personal hell almost, isn't he? Let's just see if we can um, go straight to the house and put this password in, I guess. Alright, let's try it. 1922. Something's working going up. I wonder if this is like going to be a battle against Pinstripe now. Um, we haven't had any other boss battles in the game. Oh, this is creepy. There's our daughter over there. We're going to save the game as well because, you know, a sad portrait. A sad cold portrait, actually, to be more precise. We'll save the game. Go and talk to our daughter. Do you want to play trains with me, Ted? Uh, sure. You can be the driver. Come on, Bo. The dizzy, dizzy driver. Is your poor little baby upstairs? Burning and dying. 
You croaking little piss! I live here now, boy. With my new daddy. Okay, I'm not sure what we do here now, guys. Maybe we could try smashing this mirror, though. As mirrors are a recurring theme in this game. Yep, that works. Alright, let's do this then, Pinstripe. It's a showdown between Teddy and pinstripe to save Bo, and we're gonna get this guy, because this guy's annoying me at this point. So look, we can only attack him, it seems, when his shield is down, just after he's launched like this kind of weird lightning attack at us. There we go, that lightning attack. Now we can attack him, he's vulnerable. And it looks like we get hearts from these little uh, bug things again. There we go, just give him a good old pounding with the uh, slingshot. He's got quite a lot of health though, so this might take a while guys. Ooh, that was close. The lightning almost got us there. I love how Bo's just playing with her train in the corner. <laughs> like nothing's like, you know, nothing's happening really. Come on, right, hit him some more. There we go, look at this. He's almost down, guys. Just a few more hits will uh, will do it, I believe. Okay, now go for the hit. Nice. I reckon two more lots of attacks will uh, will take Pinstripe down now. Ooh, that was very close. Almost, guys. This tiniest sliver of energy left. There, we vanquished Pinstripe once and for all. Whiskey bottle. Let's take it. Pinstripe whiskey. Oh, so Pinstripe was the drink the whole time. He's what caused the accident, the whiskey. Bottled in Redwash, England. No way, there we go. Okay, well I guess we uh, that solves that mystery. Let's hop in this picture. Well, this mirror. What's that? If we break through? What is this? Ah, we have to open it. Maybe... Ah, wait, I've got it. Maybe we press the switch down and then shoot through. Ted, Ted go find Bo. Go find Bo. Oh, the dog's gonna stay behind for me. That's so sad. Thanks, boy. See you later. That's kind of kind, wasn't it? Okay, so we're back in the world of a living, maybe? Daddy! There she is. Oh! I missed you. I missed you too. Wanna play outside? Yes. Oh, that's cute. So this is the end. Oh, look, there we go. We've got credits going. So maybe they got to reunite in Daddy. heaven. Yeah? That looks like Mummy's butterfly necklace. Okay. How pretty is that? That's nice. Mama's here to see this. She loved butterflies. Hey, bet you can't catch all of them. <laughs> we meant to like catch them all now. There we go. I've already caught them all. Oh, and there's the dog. Hey, Georgie. I wonder if this is meant to be like heaven, like the afterlife, or if this is like just meant to be like he had a premonition. Like he woke up from a bad dream and realised that like, hey, I need to stop drinking all the time. Oh, there's... 
The wife. The end. Okay, well that gives us some food for thought, certainly with the ending there. I kind of feel like that's the afterlife, he kind of found peace. He was granted, like, I don't know, his entry into heaven or something? But it was certainly a sort of quite heartfelt ending there. Um, I enjoyed that game overall. It, sometimes the puzzles were a little obtuse to work out how to do them, but like, for the most part, like, I really liked the design, like, the art style. I thought it was quite, like, funny. The, the writing was quite funny. The cast was enjoyable. Yeah, just overall, it was like a good game. It was well done. So, I will definitely be doing a video looking into the story of this game, guys. I'll probably bring that to you in a week or two. But I hope you have enjoyed my playthrough of this game. And if you have, remember to leave a like on this video. Of course, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on the ending and the game as a whole. And, of course, subscribe for more videos just like this one. With that said... I will see you all on the next video.